Hey guys, and how you doing today? Today we're going to talk about a couple of new products. Of course, this is uh, what's new in the DIN segment, and we're going to talk about J.L. Davis uh, Soap Company. Uh, Be Dreamy is the name of this soap. This comes from a newer artisan, and he has a store on Etsy, which of course I will uh, link below. He um, reached out to me, wanted to know if he could send us something to try in the pass around. Of course, I said, sure, you can send it, but we cannot assure that everyone's going to like it, and he said, I understand that so I've cut some samples out they're out in the mail right now to the guys and I'm gonna give it a go with lathering today and, and see what I think about it now the price on this is 1095 for four ounces which um, isn't too bad I did test the label on this and this is waterproof I dripped water on it and had no issues whatsoever so that's a good sign and the scent on this one be dreamy is a tropical fruity it's very sweet I happen to like sweet scents, so it's a nice scent for me. Um, but also, I want to mention that after we deal with the soap, we're going to talk about Dragon's Blood from Phoenix, so stay tuned for that. All right, first, the soap. And uh, like I said, I've already cut about 10 samples out of it to send to the guys in our uh, pass around group. And I'm looking forward to see how they receive uh, this soap. I have not tried to lather it yet or anything and we're going to see of course how that goes by the way i'm using a wolf whiskers show you the emblem there synthetic this is not a poisson it is similar to a poisson in the fiber is very soft the loft is a little bit shorter on this this is a test brush that was sent by peter wolf and he wanted to get my take on how his knot compares to the poisson i have to say i've been pleasantly surprised this knot is really been working very well for me so I'm going to buy another one from Peter. All right stand by let me wet my face and we'll get the lathering. Okay again the soap here is Be Dreamy by J.L. Davis Soap Company and the scent on this scent strength is pretty good on this. This is like a 4 or 4.5 or so so it's fairly noticeable. It is like I said very sweet but that's not a problem for me. I don't mind sweet scents. I don't like floral. This one's more coconut, fruit, kind of, I would consider it to be um, tropical. Add a little water here. This Wolf Whiskers brush does give the feel of a bit more backbone because the loft is set shorter. And I told Peter Wolf, when, when we make mine, he's been busy with a group, um, big group buy, and, you know, he wasn't going to do mine until after that but I said let's set the loft up a little bit and see how it goes and uh, I think people have been enjoying the ones that they've received from the group by so Peter Wolf is a great brush maker now this stuff lathers very nicely as you can see here no problem at all on the lathering front the scent uh, is still good 4.5 5 ish you know right in the mid range which is nice um, it's feeling pretty good no problems at all I'm sure I got plenty of lather still in the brush. Let's, yeah, it feels nice and slick there. Uh, let's pull this out here and see what we have. And uh, the lather quality feels just fine to me. I, I cannot detect any problems in that area just by the feel of it. Scent again is nice. So JL Davis Soap Company um, is, if you're looking for a newer soap maker, might be one to try. Of course, you can wait if you want to see how the pass around goes, but you know, it lathered fine, no problems whatsoever for me lathering it. Scent for me is nice. Um, not really a problem with the scent. Lather, good. So all things looking up really for JL Davis. Um, I will link below his Etsy store and his Facebook page for you guys if you're interested. So thank you, James. Of course, I'll shave with this and see how that goes as well. But for now, you know, all things looking up. All right, let me... Rinse my face. We'll come back and put on some dragon's blood and see how that goes. Stand by. All right, guys, so we're back. And before we get to the Phoenix, I just wanted to mention one thing. Today is the opening of So Sharp Limited. Uh, our buddy, David Gonzalez, is selling t-shirts there, traditional shave related uh, t-shirts. And as you can see here, here is an example of one nice quality shirt. No um, scratchy tag in it. So I really like this and I did order one today from uh, David, and I hope you guys will support him as well. Also, don't forget Shave Revolution, our buddy Justin Park there, uh, 
Great guys opening their business, taking a risk. Support them if you can, guys. All right, let's get to Phoenix. Dragon's Blood. Now, cool label on this, and how do I describe this? I was smelling it earlier, and it's difficult to describe. I will say that I like it right out of the gate. Let's just put it on and see how it goes. You can really tell best when you lather soaps and, and you put on aftershaves. And now I'm getting some sandalwood here. For sure, let me try just a little bit more. Definitely getting a, a sandalwood um, type scent. Maybe even a little tobacco-ish. I'm not sure. Um, again, I try not to read the description, but I'll post it for you here to see how he describes it. This is a really a lot of stuff going on. It's a... I don't know. My face feels good, though. I'll tell you that. It's softened my face right up. So I'm not even going to try to explain Dragon's Blood, because I guess you can explain Dragon's Blood. But I do like it. It is a keeper for me. Um, now, this one says Dragon Blood, Sandalwood, and OUD. So... Smells nice, <laughs> that much I can say. And the thing that I really like about Phoenix Aftershaves is they last a long time. So you're getting your money's worth $24.95, but this is an all day aftershave. This is no hour or two hour type of thing. And so that's why um, I usually buy the Phoenix Aftershaves. I know I'm getting um, a good bargain for the money because it's gonna be all day. You don't have to wear a cologne. So for me, that's worth it. And I gotta tell you, I don't know if there's something in this that, but my skin is feeling <laughs> really soft right now. So I don't know, I can't read the ingredients here, but I'm sure there's something that conditions the skin in there. I know people are gonna watch this and go, oh, hell, you're talking about a product and you don't even know about it. You're right, and that's by design. I just wanna open this, put it on, and tell you what happens. I'm not looking to give you every detail of it. You can go to the website and figure that out yourself. This is just, me going, hey, here's how this went when I put it on. So if that's valuable to you, great. If it's not, I apologize. All right, guys. Hope everybody has a great weekend this weekend. Enjoy your shaves. Enjoy your lives and just stay positive.